presented by MrZOnTV.com. This is the Zcast. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Zcast. This week, we're going to be talking about forces. So, what I want to do is I want to go over some basic information about forces and sort of look at the vocabulary that we'll talk about all throughout this unit. First is the word force. A force is a push or pull that has both strength and direction. Now, when we draw forces, we would use an arrow, but the scientific term is called a vector. A vector is just an arrow, but what it means is that when we draw the force, the longer the arrow becomes, the stronger the force that it represents is. And an arrow always has a direction. So when someone says a force is a vector quantity, quantity means amount, and vector means that it has a specific direction, or it happens in a straight line. So force always pushes or pulls in a straight line with a specific amount of force. So that's why we say force is a vector quantity. Well, what do forces do? Well, forces cause change to motion. So motion, we said, is when anything changes its position. From one position to another, motion has to happen in the middle. So motion can be measured by what we would call a speed. How long did it take to change position? But if speed happens in a straight line, we would call it velocity. So velocity is another vector quantity. Velocity is speed in a straight line. So if you throw a football, the football travels pretty much in a straight line in, in the uh, horizontal direction. Yeah, gravity affects it a little bit. But So uh, speed is a vector quantity if we add direction, which is velocity. Now, the velocity of an object can be affected by a force. Push it harder and it will speed up. Push it in the opposite direction, it'll slow down. Push it from the side and it'll change direction. Well, those three things, speed up, slow down, or change direction, are a change to velocity. Any change to velocity is known as an acceleration. So acceleration happens with a direction. So acceleration is also a vector quantity. So force causes a mass to accelerate or change its motion. Next time, we'll look at the laws that govern forces and motion. See you next time.